Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've been asked to work on a site for somebody, it's a real estate site and they use the IDX broker system and we have to use the IDX widgets on their site which looks fine, I mean they're great, lovely, they're sort of uh, doing what you want them to do and displaying the properties and listings for this real estate agent. But these IDX widgets don't play nicely with WordPress or they don't seem to with this particular theme, Divi. For those that you don't know, IDX is a real estate system and you can build your own widgets. If you go down to the website here, click on the wid widgets, we've already got them open there. And you can create your own. Uh, there's a bunch here created already. I'm not sure if that real estate agent did that. You can edit them or just copy the code. And you just hit view code, copy that code. And pop it into a code module on your Divi WordPress site here. But if I enable the Visual Builder, the Visual Builder is absolutely awesome. It enables us to build everything on the front end like this. But unfortunately, these IDX widgets do not play well. So now we've got the Visual Builder loaded. As you can see, there's really nothing there. The only things that we can see are the text modules that I put in regular Divi modules and the sections. The actual widgets themselves, they're just not visible. Um, I mean, you can get to them like this. Some of them, it was very difficult for me to actually get the right one. And a workaround for easily seeing what's there is click the little purple button on the bottom there. When it opens up, go to wireframe view, which is this blocks over here on the left hand side. And there we are. It's a lot clearer doing it this way. This is kind of revol reverting to Divi's back end, which is still a phenomenal way to build sites. I used to build them like this all the time. And that way you can see all your text blocks, your code blocks, searches and what have you without guessing like you do on the front end there. And of course you just go in, once you've got a code block in there, paste the code in. And everything else I've done with this site, if I exit the Visual Builder, discard and exit. Everything else I've done with this site, I've actually done with the um, Chrome Inspector here. I'm using Google Chrome and if you right click and inspect any element, You can add your custom CSS. Let's make sure we can see this element up here. There it is right there, and we're on it. There's the form. And you can go in, you can change just about anything you want. As you can see, that's changed that background. Of course, you've got to copy this code once you've made your changes. Control C. And you've got to go to your Divi options. So if we just go to our dashboard here and go down to Divi, the theme options. Down to the bottom and you'll find your custom CSS box. And I've just been pasting my custom CSS in here. I'm not going to paste that in because I don't want that to be black, but all you do is paste it in there. If it's already got a background color, you need to put the important class after the color code right there just to overwrite the initial one. Save your changes and you're away. So like I say, those IDX widgets, they work great. Let's refresh this page and get rid of that dark background. But they may be a little confusing to work with if you happen to be using Divi or most WordPress themes actually. There's a few that it's actually designed for, but they've already got this set up here. So there you have it. I hope that was useful for you. A very quick video. Just if you're using IDX widgets and you're having trouble with them, use the wireframe mode. It's a lot easier. Wireframe mode and a bit of custom CSS and you can create pretty much what you want. 
So I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.